One of the unique features of Ubercam is its ability to render forward view only. That's not just a gimmick, it plays a vital role in the previs phase of creating VR content. Here's how it can help you. Let's say that you're rendering a large, highly complex scene. Oh wow, that's just for pre-processing and it's only 3%? Okay, we're going to render this small, super simple scene instead. Let's do that now. And we're done. About 11 minutes for that frame at 4096 by 2048. Previs is a vital part of visual effects. If I want to do previs on a VR scene though, I'm still looking at monster render times even for a low poly scene. But a bulk of the action is probably going to appear forward of the camera. So how about we only render what the viewer would see if they're looking straight ahead? That's what forward only rendering does. You could quickly render out the entire scene at the same quality as the final version and each frame will have the same dimensions as your finished video. So none of the rest of your pipeline has to change at all to accommodate it. And you can easily throw that video into your headset and watch it and see exactly what the finished product will look like in VR in a fraction of the time. Here's another example. In this case, I have a cave system with cameras and a light on it, and I've animated the camera to ride along a path in the cave. If I render this in normal VR mode, it's going to take quite some time to render each frame, even though it's super low poly, and only has two lights in the scene. How long? About three minutes per frame at a fairly decent resolution, 4096 by 2048. But if I render this using only the forward view, I can render it at the same resolution, lighting, poly count, everything. And the finished product is identical to what the viewer will see if they're looking forward. It has the same dimensions, and I can send it through the same post-processing pipeline. The only difference is the time I've saved. In this case, my three minute render now takes 24 seconds. So let's see how this looks on the Oculus Quest. I'm going to open the pictures folder, and I've renamed my file to have underscore 360 in it and I've dragged it in. And now in the Oculus Quest itself, I'm going to open the gallery and pick my movie. So this is exactly what I would normally see if the whole movie had been rendered out, only that I'm looking forward. Now if I look off to the side or down, obviously it's going to look different. But this gives me a very easy way to see exactly what the movie is going to look like in my headset. And then I could go back and render the entire thing at full resolution, if I'm happy. And that's the power of forward-only rendering in Ubercam. For more information, go to liberty3d.com slash Ubercam.